everybody, it's your girl Sophia and I am back today with a super exciting video. I had to film this for you guys because I just got a really important box and I thought I would talk about a tough topic today. <laughs> if you don't know me, hi, I'm Sophia and I've been trying to get pregnant for a minute and I'm finally on the right track. So I just want to share with you guys my experience and hopefully help somebody that might be going through something similar that I am. Um, so yeah, let's chit chat about where I'm at in my pregnancy journey and how maybe I could help you with some insight in what's been going on in our lives. So Derek and I, just to give you some background, Derek is my husband and we have been trying to get pregnant basically since we uh, really got together and that sounds crazy, but him and I always knew that we were each other's person. So, um, you know, we wanted a baby and we weren't getting pregnant so after a few years in we decided to see someone about it i have a son myself he's eight he's amazing um he's actually right here in this picture <laughs> i look like a floating head basically he got diagnosed with something that is called azoospermia it affects i want to say like two percent of men it's very very rare not common basically there's a couple different kinds of this disorder and basically it means you have no swimmers but you have everything else everything else is everything's cool that's why you don't know you really have it because everything is fine you just don't have any active swimmers so that means it could be kind of the end of the road for you which i'm just gonna say that because i feel like i read so much online that was back and forth but through my experience there's really only two options. There's either one where they can find some active swimmers in the back side of everything. It requires surgery. Derek went through a lot of poking and prodding with um, a lot of long instruments. So, you know, I think we actually have a video on the daily channel of us doing some crazy stuff with that. So, uh, and him going through some really gnarly procedures. So, um, I just want everyone that may be going through this, like I said, it's pretty rare, but someone could be dealing with this too. And, uh, that's one option. They could find it. There also could be a blockage and that could be the problem. Uh, that could be why there's no active swimmers. So sometimes you can remove the blockage. Everything's fine. There's also another route, which is, um, really kind of heartbreaking, but it, it is that this is something that your body is just not producing. There's always therapy with hormones and things like that but there's really no guarantee with that and that can be the end of the road for a lot of people derek and i found a really good specialist the second time around uh, derek went through a lot of procedures like i said and they weren't able to find any active anything until we found our most recent doctor they were able to find <laughs> active things so we are really excited about that and that was kind of our whole dilemma for the past year was whether or not we were going to find any, whether or not we were gonna find a doctor that was willing to help us enough to like, you know, look. And that's another thing because not everyone will take that extra step for you. So you always have to find the right doctor. That's like my first little cinch of advice, I guess. Um, not that I can really give any, cause this is like a totally new experience. I just hope that maybe me talking about it can help you. We are getting prepared now to do IUI, which is also what we did last year. Uh, and we had a miscarriage, unfortunately, super traumatic. And, uh, you know, it took us a long time to get over. And I talk about it in a lot of my videos and how that affected us. So if you're struggling with that, I'm here for you. And basically I... And getting ready to do an IUI for the second time. An IUI is similar to IVF, but not. Uh, basically, an IUI is um, done when your doctor thinks you have a pretty good chance of having a successful pregnancy um, where they take Derek's stuff, they already have it, it's frozen, um, they have that in their little freezer. Um, it's probably a big freezer, but <laughs> they have it frozen already um, since he did his procedure already and they can just give it to me and we can have a baby. I'm trying to make this like YouTube friendly, but this is informational guys, so I'm telling you. We can do it in basically a um, doctor setting, like a hospital setting. In order for me to produce eggs, ovulate, and do all of these things on a schedule so these doctors can inject me and I can get pregnant on a day that works for them. <laughs> I have to take a lot of medication. So I'm laughing because I kind of feel like a crazy person and 
maybe if you've been on any IVF or IUI medication, you can comment down below and tell me how you feel. Basically, they first started me out on birth control. So I am on birth control and I'm not going to go over everything that's in this box because I know Derek and I are going to talk oh, because I know Derek and I are going to talk a lot about it um, in another video. So basically, I have a lot of this medication. And um, yeah, it's not going to be pleasant. Right now we have everything set up to be starting to go in like the next week and a half. So I will give you guys a date and bring you guys along this process with me. I have not had to give myself like the injectables yet. Um, ah, I'm really nervous about that. So if you guys have any tips and tricks in the comments, make sure you guys leave it down below. I do have to give myself some injections, which is gonna be kind of hard, I think for me. So. I'm really excited, but I'm really nervous and I am nervous about the medication and honestly I feel a little bit weird because of all these hormones But I just wanted to be as real as possible and share this with you guys If you guys are going through something similar share below in the comments sprinkle some baby dust and wish me luck because This doesn't look fun. I'm gonna do an in-depth video about what each medication is right now I'm just on the birth control. It's a very um, I guess strong <laughs> hormonal birth control that is helping me with something. I don't know, helping me get pregnant. I don't really know, but um, that's what I'm on now and I haven't been on birth control in like 10 years. So that's like really messing with me and I don't know if you guys have experienced this, but it kind of makes you feel crazy. So anyways, love you guys so much and I cannot believe that I literally had my TV on this whole time. <laughs> it's the mess.